Eagle Aquatics back here. In this video, I'm coming at you with another feeding video. Feeding brine shrimp to my 60 gallon reef tank. So yeah, I uh, as you guys know, feed flakes one day, brine shrimp the next. Got some krill for the anemone there. Oh, no, this is going to be a cool video, guys. Make sure to stay tuned. I know you guys like the feeding videos, so I try to do some. So I've never done one on the reef, or this reef, so hope you guys enjoy. So, uh, yeah, I put in the first attractum with the pipette there. They go to town on this stuff. I feed two cubes. That usually feeds my whole tank. Plus some krill for the anemone and uh, the shrimp and the crab. But, uh, yeah, they love this stuff. Fish love nothing more than brine shrimp, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah the, uh, oh yeah, I got the krill with my tweezers there. I don't think I'm going to feed them right now. I'm going to wait a little bit, distract the fish a little more so they don't eat the krill from the anemone. There you go. The anemone's got it in its tentacles. Try to feed the ane I uh, try to feed my anemone um, one, uh, two to three times a week. I like to keep him. He always seems hungry, so and why not feed him? Just little pieces of krill. I don't use silver sides. I don't know. I have a bunch of krill, so I just use that. Yeah, the purple tang has been thriving in this tank. I actually. Uh, rescued him from Petco. I was watching him for a couple weeks um, because his fins, he must have been beating, getting beat up in that tank or something because his fins were all torn up. So uh, Petco actually had him marked down 70%, 75% off because he, he, they had him marked as 100 and then 50% off and then eventually 75% off and I bought him. Uh, so I got him for 25 bucks and he is completely thriving in uh, this tank. Uh, just to make sure he didn't have any diseases in Petco, I had the guy feed him, and I, I, I've been watching it for a couple months, didn't see anything, so I knew he was safe to buy. Uh, yeah, I never thought I'd wind up with a purple tang in my reef tank, but it's pretty cool. I'm loving them. They all, they all eat. It's crazy. There's a little royal grama down there too. If you guys could see him. I don't think he's out right now. I think I got some more krill for the uh, shrimp and crab. The Sally Lightfoot crab loves the krill and everything. Super cool crab to keep if you guys want. It gets along with my coral bandage shrimp too. The angelfish, coral beauty angelfish is doing great also. Um, unfortunately, when I first bought him, um, he was all good at the fish store. Brought him home, put him in the tank, and uh, his eye got infected. Something. Big infection on his eyes. I was white for a couple days. wasn't good, uh, and then it just eventually just disappeared out of his eye. I didn't try to treat him because I've never had luck or a fish survive when I've tried treating him, so I decided not to. I heard a lot of people don't, so I didn't. I left him in there. He did unfortunately go blind in that eye, but he still got one eye. In He's doing excellent. Got all of his colors. And he eats perfectly fine. It's pretty cool. All my corals are thriving in there too. A lot of everything's looking really good. Hoping to get more coral in the near future. Sure. I uh, just gotta find some more. 
See, the anemone devoured that krill already. If you could see, look closely, you could see his big white mouth right there. Opening up. It's pretty cool. He eats it pretty quick. Oh, I got some krill for the shrimp right there. There you got it. He loves that stuff. I think I might have some for the Coral Beauty too. Or no, uh, what am I saying? The Sally Lightfoot Crab. If you see him, he's in the lower right hand corner. He should jump right out at it. Yep. See him just shoot out and go back in? It's pretty cool. It's a pretty good size too. about it guys I think uh, I'm gonna feed my um, tang a little bit of seaweed later I've been feeding him a lot because I want his fins to grow back faster and it's working his fins are growing that's that's the flakes I use uh, ocean nutrition um, primary flakes I find those to be the best I'm not a fan of using pellet food I'd rather have flakes because I'll put a few in there. They love those. Yep, that's gonna about do it, guys. Um, and there's the I just see feed uh, ocean or what is it, San Francisco Bay brand seaweed to the purple tank but hey yeah guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment down below subscribe and i will see you next time